So during your recruiting process, you were originally commuted to you were originally committed to Rice. Um, and then later on, you kind of switched to UT as a preferred walk on. Can you kind of like break down for us how that process went about? How did the Texas coaching staff get you to drop a full ride to come on and essentially play for free? Yeah, I think um, I grew up in an Austin native, um, mm -hmm. a lover of the University of Texas, a guy that um, dreamed to be in the burn orange. And so I don't think it was too hard for them, um, <laughs> you know, just knowing that knowing that I'm a guy that loves the University of Texas. And so mm -hmm. after the state game, um, they gave me a call and told me that I had a spot here. And, um, you know, my life, I've always been um, climbing the uphill battle um, in the game of football. I started sophomore year, I was on JVB team um, and thought I was going to quit at one point and um, just had to keep grinding. I work everybody and um, get a spot on varsity and then um, the rest is history. But so I knew um, what it was going to take to be a walk on and, um, you know, try to earn my spot and then try to earn my playing time and um, trying to be a leader on this team and um, try to give my two cents on um, what it takes to win. Nice. So was there whenever you committed to Texas, was there like an under the table deal like, you know, you play one or two seasons and we're going to do our best to try to get you a scholarship or did you just come into the program just off the love of Texas and you're like, you know what, nothing's going to be given to me, whatever. I'm going to work my ass off and whatever happens, happens. Like what was, what was that dynamic like? Yeah, for, for sure. There was, there was no deal. Um, coach, the only thing coach Gideon told me was I treat all my guys fairly. Um, mm -hmm. and that was the best news I could ever hear. Mm -hmm. Um, just knowing that whether he meant it or not, um, I was at least going to get his attention. Um, mm -hmm. if I got an opportunity, I was going to make my play and show him that, I deserve to be here. Mm -hmm. um, but it was difficult, um, for sure difficult. Uh, guys that were in my corner mm -hmm. uh, from the jump, Westlake people, family, friends, mm -hmm. they were even telling me, you know, I can't wait to see you, um, you know, being the burn orange and being on the sideline and just being on the team. Mm -hmm. And I would always say I appreciate it. But in the back of my mind, I was like, um, that's not going to be my my standard. I'm going to mm -hmm. I'm going to play. Just right. watch this. So mm -hmm. um, that was always my motivation is proving myself right and um you know just just believing in, in myself and and letting um, the outcomes control itself